Hi, welcome. In this uh, video, this is part one of uh, two videos I'm going to create. I'm going to show you how to use uh, Microsoft's Business Intelligence Development Studio, also known as BIDS, to create a SQL Server integration service ETL package. And we're going to do that from the framework of on the source system we're going to create a SQL statement that reads data on a multi-table join and we're going to use that to create a package that then loads a table in a target system. And so if you're doing things like uh, dimensional modeling where you're creating a fact table or dimension table you can use the same technique that I'm showing you here though that's not my intent to, to build fact and do dimensional modeling in this video. So, with that said, uh, a couple things before we get started, kind of prerequisites, things I expect that you to know, is my expectation is that you have uh, BIDS 2008 Standard Edition as a minimum. The Express version doesn't have any of the functionality that I'm going to be showing you. or uh, And that you have SQL Server Management Studio 2008. And most of these concepts should be able to work in 2012 software as well. Uh, that you know how to write a SQL Server query that joins tables, that you know how to create a SQL Server table. And I really didn't intend this for beginners or folks that are new working with data or databases. I think that if you're coming from Oracle or DB2 or other relational databases and you have some experience doing ETL work, that you should be able to follow this just fine. Okay. Uh, one, oh yeah, one other important point. I'm working with a data set that you're not going to have access to, so the expectation if you want to kind of replicate what I'm doing, cognitively showing you how to do, that you have a data set that you can work with. Uh, that's I think a pretty obvious presumption on my part. Uh, as far as doing this, the general process that I'm going to be showing you, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the first three steps, and we're not going to really cover them per se because these are competencies that I expect you to already have. Uh, we're going to, we need to create our source DML query, test it out. Then we need to get the schema attributes for the, from the query so that we can Third, build out a destination table, create a table for our target system, and then finally create the data flow task, what's called the data flow task in uh, SQL Server Integration Services. So the first step, create our DML query. I've already got that. And then get the scheme attributes for that. I'm just going to switch over real quick to Management Studio. And you can do this in Management Studio or some third-party tool. So the idea is you get your query built, you get your data set back. And I don't have any row restriction on this because this is just a, a simple example. Uh, a lot of other factors, too, that you need to, that you're going to need to address when you're doing this type of work is, you know, is this something someone's come to ask you to do that's basically a one-time affair? They just need you to get them some data so they can mine and do some analytics on it? Or is this something where in your package you're going to be, you know, you're going to need to do an initial batch load and then basically have a query that, that has checkpoints in it that loads it each, each day or whatever the latency is? between the source and the target system? Uh, or is it something where the data set's not too huge in terms of its growth and you're just going to blow it away on the, on the target system each day and refresh it? A lot of different scenarios, and we're not going to get into those here. But I, I can assure you that the SQL Server Integration Services allows to, for dealing with all of those scenarios that I've just covered. Okay, so again, once you've got that, I'm showing you this in case you're not that, for, for those of you that might not be that familiar with this tool. Uh, once you have your query and it works the way you want, brings back the data set, and we're working with the DataBridge database here, you want to go in and find each of the tables and then get the attributes for that table. And you can do that by selecting design. And that'll open up uh, a visual representation of the schema where you can get the, the data types for each of those. Then once you've done that, you want to build out your target table. In the case of this example, I've uh, already built out the target table in a different database called DataBridge DW. 
and it's called fact balance. And if we open up and we look at the design of that table, you'll see that all of the columns are the exact same columns that are in the query. So what we have now is a working query and we have a table already built on the target system and so the next thing we need to do is show you how to build an ETL package to take that query and load the table which we'll be doing in the next video so I'll see you there. Bye.